It is the cheapest razor mouse you can find in the market for only 199 ringgit. A trip to Uranus? Have you guys seen a new BMW logo? Don't go anywhere, I'll be reading your comments. Welcome to MLM Monday Lawns with Michelle. Before I start, here's a word from our sponsor. Acer Malaysia introduces the brand new Game Ready Nitro 5 powered by a quad core AMD Ryzen 7 3750H processor and the latest NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1650 GPU. In conjunction with Acer 30th anniversary, every purchase of this brand new Nitro 5 is entitled to get a pair of movie tickets or Acer 30th anniversary limited edition tower for free. What are you waiting for? If you have small hands like me and your favorite claw or fingertip gripping styles, I'm sure you understand how hard it can be to find a gaming mouse that suits you. Well, Razer has you covered as they expanded their Viper line with the new Viper Mini that is smaller and lighter than its predecessors, Viper and Viper Ultimate weighing at only 61 grams. It features a somewhat ambidextrous design, Mini can fit either hands perfectly, but the side buttons are only easily accessible to your right thumb. It also comes with their signature optical switches that can last up to 50 million clicks and comes with six programmable buttons. The Viper Mini comes with a lighter chassis designed for swifter swipes, an 8500 dpi optical sensor with a tracking speed of up to 300 inches per second. Of course, it comes with RGB and onboard memory so you can carry your customized profile with you. Razer added a fatter bottom to the mouse which reduces drag and gives a much smoother glide. It is the cheapest Razer mouse you can find in the market and it is available on their online store for only 199 ringgit. Guys, cheap! Bye! Hello darkness, my old friend, you are finally here. If you are sick and tired of getting blinded by WhatsApp every morning or every night before you hit to bed, well, now you can enable the dark mode. For Android 9 or lower users, simply tap on settings then chats and use the switch to toggle the option on. If you're on Android 10 or iOS 13, you'd have to set it manually as WhatsApp can set itself to complement your system settings. You see on bright screen, the dark room can cause serious issues to our eyes. That's why at Mob House, we work in a very minimal lighting environment since we're editing videos every day. This makes dark more ideal for most people but there's one issue here and that is blurriness. Research shows that dark mode requires our pupils to dilate wider in order to let more light in to capture the necessary visual information but it also leads to reduced overall sharpness. The opposite is true with light mode. This is why dark text on a white background will generally appear sharper to our eyes. I personally enjoy using dark mode despite having to sacrifice the sharpness but what do you guys think? Would you go for the ultimate sharpness or you guys would go black and never go back. New year, new you, new BMW. BMW recently changed their logo from this to this and this is their first change in over 20 years. The new logo was first showcased on the BMW i4 concept electric car. It is a 2D flat logo that sports a transparent border instead of the iconic black rim with blue and white circle design. Not too sure how nice it will look on a silver or white car but it sure looks good on a bronze BMW i4. According to BMW's head of brand management, the new logo is supposed to radiate more openness and clarity. Changing their logo indicates that they are gearing themselves up to meet the digital age but it just looks like they are changing the logo in favour of presumed modernity and I think the choice of colours could have been better. Especially for the round border as the new one is harder to spot in my point of view. The new BMW logo is said to be used for communication and media branding such as on their website or social media. As for vehicles, the old logo remains in use. Thank god! I cannot imagine how the new logo would look like on a white BMW car or on a billboard on the highway. Yee! Desk are so 2012. Cultures are so 2018. What we have here is a gaming bed from a Japanese company with a fairly hard to pronounce name, Bauhute. Bauhut. Bauhut. I'm not German. But anyway, unsurprisingly, it's a single bit. Their website says, with the help of Google Translate, of course, why make your life hard by moving from your bed to your desk? As soon as you get up, you can watch a game or animation and realize a life cycle of falling asleep without difficulty. There's no need to suspect. We all know this translation is not 100% accurate, but doesn't matter. I am sold. They got me at bed. Now take my money. 
The gaming bed fits with the company's variety of bed accessories such as a desk surface at a foot that can support a dual monitor setup, a couple of speakers and twin cup holders. It also comes with a controller and a headphone rack that are not placed at the best position because you have to pull yourself up into a sitting position and lean really far forward to grab them. Very nice of them to make sure we do our daily stretches. Luckily, you can choose to add a four-wheel wagon next to your bed for your headphones, controllers and some healthy drinks and munchies. The headboard has room for an alarm clock and a tube of lotion so you don't miss any important gaming appointments and in case your hands are dry from the 24-7 air conditioning room. <laughs> what are you thinking? This looks extremely useful for gamers with mobility issues or if you live in a shoebox in London, New York, Singapore or Hong Kong. Check out their website for more out of the world items that can bring your gaming experience to the next level. Anyone wants to grow fat and go pro with me? Ever since I was a kid, my dream was to go to space and be friends with all the aliens. <laughs> well, Michelle Chan making friends with aliens, that is impossible. But the first part, it seems not too far away from reality. If I have the money. <laughs> SpaceX has announced that they will send three private tourists on a 10-day trip to the International Space Station. SpaceX says this will happen sometime in late 2021 using their Falcon 9 rocket and their brand new Crew Dragon spacecraft. 10 days? What are they going to do there for 10 days? Apparently, 2 days will be spent travelling to and from the station and the tourists will be able to spend around 8 days on board the International Space Station sharing space with the astronauts. Well, I'm sure they are more than happy to give up precious toilet time and real estate. The trip was made possible after NASA announced last year that it will start opening up the space station to more commercial activities such as space tourism. It seems like SpaceX is determined to make space tourism one of the company's revenue streams. What is next? A trip to Uranus? All of this sounds very cool, but I tell you, the costing is even cooler. According to SpaceX, one ticket is around $55 million. That is around 200 million ringgit. And there are only three tickets available. One ticket is already purchased. Two more left. If you have a few hundred million ringgit to spare, here is your opportunity to bring me and you to fly. Next comments time. Let's see. Eddie Yap, itu rambut amoy kasi kemasuki. Overall, very good job setting the bar for Malaysian content creators to follow. Thank you so much, Eddie. I'm still trying my best to create fun, lighthearted, and educational content for our followers because in this digital age, it is very important to create content that is inspiring and also can influence the community to become better. And as for my hair, it misbehaves. It doesn't matter how much serum I apply, it will always look like this but you know what they say geniuses all have messy hair like Beethoven, Isaac Newton, Einstein and me haha <laughs> next Shahir Lagan Ligan Legend Walau self-driving cars ah. Then cannot ask driver Da berapa lama buat grab bang Haha <laughs> by the way Bring back Hyper Michelle lo. Well bro That is exactly what it does to us With advancement And also revolution of technology It certainly made our lives easier Better Faster And also more fun But it can kill human touch And anyway I hope I'm hyper enough in this episode <laughs> Next Razi Afifi Can Michelle play mobile games? Can you do stream? Oh yes I do stream a lot of CS go on my page last time but I haven't been streaming as often. Also check out our future Epi Days video because we'll be talking about mobile games. Mobile games if that is what you're into. Okay this last one I want to talk about the Mi Mix Alpha phone that features an all around touchscreen. I learned my lesson. I will get my editor to review and fact check my script next time. <laughs> Remember to leave a comment down below if you have anything interesting to share about cars, mobile phones, laptops, PC, tumblers, um, toilet bowls, oven, fridge, whatever. This is MLM. I'll see you in the next episode. Bye. Viper Mini, which is smaller and lighter. Ugh. 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 Okay. I need to do this again because I'm going to record my audio just now. Holy.